Hey, uh, today I'm going to implement uh, Facebook login and I'm going to do it live uh, so you can see the whole process. So to get started, you go to developers, Facebook. So once you are there, so you have, okay. So you type in your search, you find, um, you go to developer Facebook. And you go to the page where you see the whole developer stories here and you go to my apps. There you, you click for new app, you click uh, create new app and once you click, uh, you create a new app, you will get an app ID and an app secret. So you come to the Firebase, you copy the app ID and I'm going to show the app secrets. And you copy the app secrets. So I'm going to so the app secret. So don't try to use it because I will reset it after this tutorial. Then you save. So uh, I, will, I will implement Facebook login and Google login uh, all in one so, and Twitter. So uh, let me go to also create a Twitter, Twitter app key. So I think I should go to Twitter developer so again this is the first time i'm going to do it so um uh, it's like showing you the entire process of how to do it um okay so let me go there i think i need to create an app and have an app id and so on because uh, it used the same uh, strategy of both and i think uh you know the process is pretty much the same, okay? Let me see where I need to go. Okay. Yeah, IPI. Should, should I go there? I'm not sure. Sure, I need to know is that I need um app key. Okay, this is how I can do it. So, what if I google like get app key? It's a right? see what I get. So, okay, so it seems like I need to go to this. To go to this API apps.twitter.com slash app slash new. As, and after that, uh, I need to be logged in. Then I will need to create an app. So let me see how it goes. So uh, let me see if it goes there. Okay, here yeah, they show me the two type here. I don't need the API actually. I need to uh, create an app. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna create an app. Okay, I need to apply for Twitter. I need to apply for Twitter developer account because I was not a developer here. So what do I need here? Um, so do I need to build tools, Twitter user, build uh, business to business product? Uh, maybe it's building, uh, so I think I need to do something else. Uh, then I need to do next. And this is my developer 
Okay, you are signing up for individual developer account. Susan will be the login for the developer account. I Richard Malak, also I'm going to put my country here, which is uh, Rwanda. And what would you like to, to call you? So I think it's for my company, Egobox, and so please send me the update. I'd be happy to know the update. Um, can we use Twitter for developing solutions for login? And the last thing this is what I want to do. So let me see at the bottom. So, okay, I see a lot of question here, a lot. So I need to please describe how you will analyze Twitter data, including any analysis of tweets. Are you planning to nice? No, I'm not planning that. Will you help your tweets to tweet like photo? No, I'm not going to do that. Do you plan to display tweet or great data about Twitter? No. Uh, will your products or service or analysis make Twitter content or de delivered information available to government entity? Nope. So basically what I need is simple. So these are tools. Um, so I need this. This can be a link mention work in using Credential device devices. So this is what I want. Okay. I hope they they're going to accept my developer account. So they tell me that it looks good. And uh, and then submit the application. So guy, I'm sharing every process so that you can see like if you want to be developer, uh, what does it mean? Like uh, how do you approach the, the problem to start from uh, the problem to solution? So here I'm, I'm going to implement the, the login uh, using Twitter, Facebook and Google. Uh, to be fun uh, if you I show you the entire process which is what I'm doing now. So uh, I have already submitted the I have already submitted the to be the developer. Maybe let me go to the app and uh, I have to wait. Thank you for applying to access Twitter developer account. Please confirm your email. Okay, I think I need to go to my email. I don't know that email was, can I change my email? I think I've already changed. Let me see. Let me go to my email. So let me change the email. Can I change the email? So let me change the email. So let me go to my settings. Where is my settings? Let me go to settings, settings and privacy, I think. And I'm gonna change the email. 
because that email is no longer in use. So, okay, next. And I'm going to put my Okay, it's okay, people can see my email. So let me go to my email. So again, I'll be doing this live coding. Uh, let me know if you want me to broadcast it on YouTube live so that you can see me coding the solution live. Uh, I'll be happy to do that. So somebody is calling me, so I'm gonna pick the phone. Um, let me see. Hello? 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 Okay, sorry, I was speaking the phone. Uh, um, sorry, uh, I'll be happy just uh, if you put in the comment that you want to see uh, the live stream of uh, what I'm coding. I'll be happy to do that. So I got the code. I'm gonna put it here, and I'm going to verify. And uh, I think now it's verified. Now let me go back to okay, let's see if I see the email here. Can I see the email. All right, so um, I think I will have to wait for some time. So let me go ahead and now, um, let me disable this for now. Um, and now I'm going to implement the, the Google sign-in. So now um, I'm going, I'm in the Flutter app now. So uh, I'm using this uh, Google sign-in. Um, I'm going to use this. Um, this plugin. So uh, I've already uh, inserted the, the dependence here. I'm going to create a new uh, I'm going to create a new screen here which is going to be the experimental Google login. Uh, and because this is a client application, 
that I don't want just to explain you know, or to show you like uh, you know how it looks and so on. Uh, so this is where I'm going to create a new. You know what I'm. Oh, let me let me use something else. I think um, let me kill this. Let me use VS Code uh, for this purpose. I think it's gonna be good. Open Facebook. So um, let me switch the project to the one I'm going to integrate the login. So um, so. Go to to yeah okay so let me create a um, login uh, screen just to show you how or oh, let me change the theme to. Color theme and light visual. So I'm going to call it uh, signing draft sign sign thing dot that. So and um, this is where I'm going to put the code for signing okay so i'm going to make it to be a stateful okay first of all let me see if uh, if there is a plugin i can use for facebook login so this is i'm gonna do it uh yeah seems like there is a facebook login too which is awesome. So the first thing I see here, I see how many people are liking this package and how many points it have. This is very critical for, for you to be sure that the plugin is uh, trustworthy. And uh, once you have it and, but I think Google can do it, let me see.
okay this is this the sample code of how you can log in and uh, let me go to the sample app just to see uh, how they have uh, done that so you can see that they have imported this line of code at the top and they have something like where so it seems like they can log in silently but is there any configuration i need to do is for ios so when you register your application let me see seems like i need to register the application so okay now everything's ready So Frita is still analyzing, so some some auto compression may not work. So let me go here. So this is what I did by the way. So uh, that is done to register my application of Fabius. I showed you how. So say that you don't need to include you don't need to include Google Service JSON file unless you are using Google Service. And I need to include, you need to enable the OAuth API that you want using the API. For example, if you want to mimic the behavior of the Google sign in your sample app, pick OK, right? So let me go to my account and enable this to API that I said. So uh, make sure you have uh, the email you sign in on Google uh, console developer api is the same email that you are using so here you can see that um it's me i'm going to switch to our company email because this this is an app for our client so we're going to do that and uh so i can close this because this is not the one i'm gonna use obviously Here they are saying, uh, for example, if you want to mimic the behavior of the Google sign-in sample, you need to enable people API. So let me do that. Let me do that. How to enable this API. So you click here, enable. Let me check. So let me choose the app. Then let me put the API that I want to enable. So again, the, the, uh, you can have uh, Google Pe People API, of course. And um, So I'm going to enable it. So they said, uh, um, so then need to also include this auth, but it's still enabling the Google People API, which, which I'm not sure what it's going to do for sure, but somehow it is needed by this uh, so now let me search this auth so let me enable it let 
Let's see, do I have to enable it or something? So I think I don't need to do anything about it. So now I can come at the bottom and I'll be ready to go. Oh, my friend has still amazing things. So I'm going to use a stateful widget and uh, sign in example. Then I'm going to import the material from the material. And I'm going to put this, this is going to be center. Um, so I'm going to use a lazy button that it's going to have uh, um, on placed. And um, it's going to have a child and um, this child is going to be uh, sign, sign in. So once you click on it, I'm going to print, uh, you know, hello world. So now I'm going to I'm going to make it uh, initial loud. I'm going to change uh, this. Uh, let's see. I'm going to see loud. Outer, so this the initial screen. So let me see when so um, instead of um, going to log in the screen, I'm going to go to the default. Let me uh, hide this. <coughs> I'm sorry if I have been speaking very low. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to pub spec and I'm going to I'm going to run this so that I can um, compile the needed uh, files for the project. So I'm gonna put it there. So now I'm going to, to go to the loud and I'm going to add the louder. So, so I want it to be here. Okay, it's freezing. So I'm going to add So I'm going to be sign, sign an example. Sign an example. I'm going to import this from, from this. And I'm going to wait for the compiler to compile. But I'm going to go ahead and also import it in this middleware. Um, which is going to be louder dot navigator dot push named uh, and I'm going to put that uh, name of the router and for now it's going to show the error because uh, the compiler is not yet done so while I'm waiting for that to be done so now I'm going to go here and try to import the
going to start now um, in the signing button. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here and uh, import the Google sign in. And I'm going to create um, Google sign. Google sign in variable and I'm going to uh, echo it to assign it with the Google sign in and I'm going to stay, set a scope and the scope is a uh, type of like some uh, limitation you want or so, you know it's like saying that in in this Google sign in I'm only interested in, in, in email right so now you can even click here and see that the available scope, I guess. Let me see scope. And they say uh, these are the list, uh, it's a string, the list of the string. So, and let me see what they're saying here. They're saying the admin specify hosted domain restricted by setting this, it can be restricted to account of the user if the specified domain by default, the list of account will be will not be restricted. Oh, that's okay. But I'm so list of scope. List of scope allows scope code request that when signing. So this is something that you are requesting when you are signing. So like you are you access the uh, signing. So here I'm going to create uh, an inner function and this is going to be with the login. And, um, is going to be a sync function uh, because there is something I'm going to wait within this login, and uh, because I want to also make sure that I I try and cache the bug the the data, so I can do that. This is data I will be caching, and uh, so now I can. Maybe here, here I can print the error. So now let me go to, now let me go to uh, Google sign in uh, variable and try to see and, um, you know, what are variable methods we need to to call. I think we need to sign in. Uh, this is what we want. And of course, we need to also implement the logout because once we sign in, we can even uh, log out. And I'm going to have, um, so need, here I can, uh, because this is the stateful widget, I can need to set state here inside. But of course, I need to first log out. Google sign in. Log out. Maybe sign out. Sign out, yes. And so now uh, this need to be a wait because I will need to wait for the login to happen. Now here I may need yeah, I may need to say, okay, Boolean is logged in and it's going to be false. 
And here I can say uh, set steps is going to be is logged out, is logged in because false. And um, here, of course, we can uh, update this variable. So um, uh, here we can set states and we can update the variable that we are already in uh, true. So now this is going to help us, like if the user is logged in, uh, how we are going to do it. Uh, we can show even different button. We can come here and you say, if the user is logged in, is logged in, right? Uh, show this button, otherwise show this button. So here we can say, uh, logged in. Here we can show sign in, okay? This is like pretty simple example. So now let's see if it has finished to compile, seems so. And um, let's import this. Okay, I need to wait. And um, then let me wait for it to finish compile. So, um, It is not, it's not finishing. Okay, I need to wait maybe for it to complete. So let me go to route. Maybe there is a problem here. to loud where is loud loud louder let's see is there any problem there okay. start it again Okay, here, let me uh, also customize the, let me go to draft signing. Uh, here, when we are logged in, of course, I need to show like uh, an image of the user who is logged in. So which is why I need to show the column. Colon in the column, we are going to have um, go back a little bit. Colon I'm going to be the children here. So inside the children, uh, we're going to have this. Going on here. Let's see this. Okay, let me show you. Why is it do like this? Why is it do like that? So 
and this should be fine. My hair is still okay. I know what I've done wrong. Okay, so here I need to see like um, this need to be like this. Okay, to show the children. And of course, the first children I want to show is the maybe the image of the user being uh, logged in, and we know is uh, from from Google login. Google login. So I think I need to, to take the current user and then let me try to see if I can see his uh, photo here. Yes, we have it here. And um, that's something I want. If a user, if we are logged in, we're going to show this column with, um, with an image of user being logged in and we are going to show the raised button uh, to show that a user is, uh, is being logged in. Just as uh, to demonstrate, um, let me try to clear the code so you can see it. So um, this is how it is working. So here I have a, here I have a login here, and uh, once a user is logging, um, it is an async method which means it's going to wait for this Google signing to happen. And once we are logged in, and we are going to set this variable to true, which means we are logged in. Otherwise, for logout, we are going to set it to false. And we are using the, the state management uh, because this is a stateful widget to update the, the variable here. So now uh, this variable is the one we are going to count on uh, by looking um, if this variable is true, we are going to show this, uh, this column with um, a network of image from uh, a logged in user and a button that shows that a user is logged in and otherwise we are going to show the list button of uh, a user that we need to log in. And what we do here, we are going to call the login method. Okay. So when a user click on this button, and it's going to be calling this uh, login method that we have defined here. So now I think we can even uh, create um, logout. So let me, so here I use a column and uh, column we are going to need uh, now a children of a button. And let me, uh, the first button I'm going to call it logout. So once we have the logout um, working, uh, so here we can uh, call the logout function and uh, everything would be nice. So let me try to see if um, oh, it seems like these things is comparing non-stop. Let me try to see if, uh, Got it. Yeah, something I can put now. Let me do filter clean because uh, I think uh, sometimes you need to clean. Let me do filter clean again because I can see the bug here being uh, notified. Okay, now I can put um, it. Let's 
GitHub. All right, everything is okay. So now, um, also learn that. Let me remove this watch because I don't want it to complete. Maybe the watch is you know watching it forever, which I don't want. I want it to run and finish. So uh, I hope you're enjoying this live uh, coding session. This is uh, not something like uh, pre-scripted uh, uh, before. Uh, this is something I'm coding live, so you see, um, you know how uh, to implement any feature that you are being asked by a client. So, and my my approach always is to go slow and having the draft. As you can see, I, I have the draft uh, signing example, and after this signing example, and I'm confident that. Um, the signing work pretty much fine and I go ahead and implement the solution into the main project but and something I've seen that uh, some of uh, people who start to code in the early days is just to rush to the project and implement a whatever uh, they've been taught to implement inside the main project and that is the mistake because uh, because uh, you're going to waste a lot of time and um, you are going to mess around with a, a lot of codes that is that is that can be of uh, you know some uh, side effect of uh, the feature you're trying to implement. So it's better always to separate, isolate that feature, then bring the feature back to the main project once you feel much more com comfortable. Um, Hmm, this is a problem here. Let me see. Okay. It seems I need to include wash. Let me see how it works. So, um, Now, let me see the Facebook login because um, see here, let me see how it is being used. Seems like you need to import that. So, yeah, it seems like uh, it is the same process. And I'm going to go and see. Uh, so let me see the, what they say here. So you need to include that in pub spec, that's okay. So to assume that you have done associate your package name and default class with the app, Facebook ID and Okay, can I use the same? Okay, this is the question I'm asking. Can I use Google sign in to also do the Facebook sign in? Try to see. I think it would be nice if we can use the same library to authenticate to the whole process, you know. So I'm going to stop and continue the part two. And I'm going to end the meeting.